to us but <laughs> um so I just woke up a little while ago and I made myself some egg beaters with a little bit of ham and and low fat cheese and onions and some leftover butternut squash yeah so that's what I'm having for breakfast um um Yum, yum. And I think we're going to hit Walmart today um, so we can get some of those Glucerna bars that um, Amanda Nichols told me about. So yeah. I think we're going to go hit Walmart today and get some of those. And right now Kevin's going to read me some comments from our vlogs last night. Yay. Yay. Since I got four of them up last night. Yeah. It's tough. Oh, and do you know what Sunday is? Oh, Sunday is Val's birthday. She's going to be 29. That's right. 29. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> <sighs> we got a stare down here. But uh, both of these cats, I know before we had them, were outside cats. We don't know that much about Ebony because we got him from a uh, uh, rescue but whenever I have the door open like I have right now they both kind of just stare out the door I know especially Mojo would like to go out I'm sure this has kind of got the both of them pretty bummed they both want to stand in front of the door but these two don't like each other they're doing a stand stare down or doesn't care just hang out all right, so Val's not feeling too well again today. Uh, I'm sure it has to do with her blood sugar. She really got herself all worked up over it. She would uh, wake up in the morning and it's high, and then she would have a completely non-sugar, non-carb breakfast, and it would get even higher. So I'm sure that's not a huge problem. I mean, it never gets so high that uh, it's frightening. But it gets high enough that she doesn't feel well. And we still don't quite know exactly where she is as far as um, uh, her own personal uh, blood sugar range. So I'm off to Walmart. Going to look for some uh, glucerna bars which were recommended to us. See if uh, that can help. She's always looking for something to eat. This is uh, part of the problem that she has. That, uh, particular medications that she's on she's always hungry and she can't uh, she can't stop eating so uh, which is why one of the reasons why they're doing the gastric bypass and doctors aren't communicating with us right now we are sending out emails and we're not getting thing, anything in return mainly because I would say that the numbers that we're sending them about the blood sugar are not extremely high or dangerous but she's miserable so hopefully we'll hear from somebody and uh, maybe these uh, glucerna bars will, will help. That would be nice. Um, so that um, otherwise, I, I don't think that her blood sugar is high enough for her to be taking insulin on a regular basis. I think that's what the doctors are thinking as well. But it'd be nice if they at least responded. Haven't heard from them in days. Hello everybody. So Kevin went to the store. I took a nice, I guess, long nap. Um, and uh, Amanda Nichols had suggested um, some of these to us. Glucerna Nutrition Snacks, or Nutrition Bars, Mini Snacks. 
Um, they're chocolate peanut butter bars and they help to maintain blood sugar spikes. Um, and we got some blueberry muffins and some cinnamon buns. So, and these are all for diabetic snacks or diabetic meals. Um, part of my problem is that since my blood sugar is running very, very high all the time now, and I am not on any medication. Lots of people say that I need to go back to my doctor and have them adjust my medication. I'm not on any medication as of yet. Um, so part of my problem is I'm hungry all the time. Um, I'm thirsty all the time. I'm trying really, really hard to watch all of the carbohydrates that I eat. I'm not adding uh, straight carbohydrates. I've been eating good, so I don't know what to do. Anyway, good news for everybody out there that's interested. We just are getting ready to upload Corona Haunting Part 2. So that'll be up sometime tonight, guys. So I hope you're all excited about that. Woohoo! And I think that's everything I have to say right now. So we'll catch you all a little later. So what you doing, honey? Charring some flesh. <laughs> Kevin's making his gourmet top ramen soup. See? There's going to be water boiling very soon. And he's browning some ground beef, onions, and he's going to throw some garlic in there for me. And he's going to add some of that to his soup. So, he thinks he's caught my diabetes. Yes. <laughs> it's contagious. He hasn't eaten today, and he's got a headache. <laughs> Want to do cer glue cerner bar? <laughs> so, cheating on Boomer, are we? She needed her ear scratched. She's enjoying that too. Ebony. Hey, Eb. Wait. Oh my God. You're just enjoying that oh so much. Look at that face. Scratch. Look at the face. Okay, so Boomer's not too happy about this. You guys be nice. You guys be nice. Boomer, Daddy has two hands. Aww. See what you did, Boomer. You chased Ebony away. You're such a bully. You're just a big bully. Ebony. Hello, everybody! Hello! I hope everybody's having a fantabulous Friday and hope y'all have a great weekend. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Outs! Wow! Wow! First off, Bambi S. informed me today that it is National Polar Bear Day. I didn't know that. So thank you, Bambi, for telling me that. And happy National Polar Bear Day to all you polar bears out there that are watching. Okay. Those are my kin. Be nice to my kin. Okay. EJ Giggy, we want to thank you so very much. He asked about Boomer the other day, and we do need to take Boomer into the vet to get his eye checked out, but right now we don't have the funds for it, so EJ Giggy did a donation. Um, it hasn't come across yet, but thank you so very much. On um, That will definitely go to the vet fund, so thank you. Thanks. That means a lot to us. T-Dubs. Welcome to the neighborhood. One Ashley One said watching nibblers made her hungry. Nibbling with the neighbors made her hungry. Maybe we should put a warning on the screen that says, Do not watch on empty stomach. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so Mimi Y welcome to the neighborhood and daily rambles glad you finally came across our channel <laughs> we are okay we're a little crazy sometimes but we're okay welcome to the neighborhood <laughs> And that's pretty much all I have for shout outs tonight. So it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Yeah. And you all know what that means now. It means it's time for trivia question and April 30th, midnight to one uh, belongs to the dead. Good, good Lord deliver us. And that's a, a quote from the movie The Fog from the journal of the Father Malone, and the answer was it's referring to a Walpurgis night, and that is um, actually Walpur Walpurgis is a saint, so uh, Walpurgis Day is the next following day, which also happens to be May Day, which also has to be Belle Pain. All these are very, very much the same holiday. It's the beginning of summer, and it's usually uh, held, uh, they held um, bonfires. To celebrate it through uh, a certain countries in Europe, um, which there was a bonfire at the be uh, supposed to have caused the problem, the, the ship to crash in the fog. So maybe that's sort of why it was used. I don't know. So, and the people who got that right, Tanya Longley got it first. I think she got it within minutes of us putting the blog up. <laughs> Tanya's like me, she doesn't sleep. <laughs> so, and then Terry Johnson. Uh, Amanda Nichols. And she even referred to it from the German name. Valpergis Nacht. And Bambi S. Okay, so tonight's trivia question is on uh, George C. Scott movie, uh, The Changeling from 1980. Um, it's a haunted house story based on an actual house. Where is that house and who is the story about? I don't know that one. I know the movie, but I don't know that. Interesting. There you have it. So, you are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo. Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, PIN, part two of the Corona Haunting is up. Arts and Crafts. We will see you guys all tomorrow.